the BTC Sessions. I am here in Cambodia, and today I would like to speak with you about a service called Shapeshift.io. This is a website that allows you to convert in and out of various virtual currencies. It's very simple to use. I'm gonna let you take a look at the website here. Now, uh, full disclosure, I only hold Bitcoin. I don't hold other virtual currencies, but I do feel it's important to have the skill and know how to work this service. So let's take a look at the website and see how it works. Now, before I take you to shapeshift.io, we're gonna check out coinmarketcap.com. This is just a ranked list of all, or of many cryptocurrencies out there. You can see Bitcoin on top with nearly $10 billion market cap, and there's the current price, the available, the available supply of Bitcoin, and a bunch of other metrics here. Uh, in second place, you can see it Ethereum here, it's about a tenth of the size as far as market cap. Uh, there's the current price and again, uh, a bunch of other metrics to look at. Now, if you are to scroll down here on this website, there are quite a few different cryptocurrencies out there. And I would say the vast majority of them are not worth your time. So if you're looking to speculate, please be careful and do your due diligence, make sure you research whatever you're trading. Let's head over to shapeshift.io. Okay, so over here on the right, you're gonna see a pair of currencies that you want to trade. The first one is what you're gonna deposit. The second one is what you're going to receive. If I were to click on the first one here, uh, you can see there's lots of different options here. Um, it, Shapeshift doesn't have all of the cryptocurrencies, uh, but they do have a lot. So let's just go back to that main screen. Uh, I do want Bitcoin going into Ether or Ethereum, so I'm going to go down. You can choose quick or precise depending on whether you want a certain number of Ether or not. Just hit the continue button for now. We're gonna do a quick one. All right, so what you need to provide is a deposit address where the cryptocurrency you'll be receiving will go. I'm gonna paste in one that I copied earlier from my Ethereum address. Uh, and you're also gonna to need to provide a refund address should anything go wrong. Now you don't have to provide a refund address, but I will here. So I'm gonna hit my refund address for Bitcoin down there. Um, just agree to the terms and you're gonna hit the start transaction button. Now, this is going to bring up a new screen that has a QR code that you can scan. So you can see in the top right corner here, I'm going to pull out my Bitcoin wallet on my phone. So I'm gonna open up Copay here. And I'm just going to simply scan the QR code on the screen. And once I have that scanned, I'm going to select how much money I would like to spend, how much Bitcoin I would like to send and depending on how much I send, that will depend on how much Ethereum or Ether I receive. Once I've chosen my amount, I'm gonna hit the send button. I will quickly confirm, and it should be pretty quick on the screen here. Deposit received, there we go. And now it is exchanging my Bitcoin for Ether. This can vary how long it takes um, hopefully, oh, there we go. And this one was nice and quick. So I should have received that ether into my Ethereum wallet. Let's go check that out. So I'm gonna go out of Copay. I'm gonna open up another wallet here that I have. It's called Jax. Now next week I'm gonna do a video on this wallet in particular because it has a, a very interesting feature baked right into it that you will see. So I'm going to check out Ethereum, my Ethereum wallet here, and you can see I've received, what is it, 1.3 something Ether, and there's the transaction down below. Now just for good measure, let's try doing this the opposite direction. So we're gonna do Ether or Ethereum for Bitcoin. So I'm gonna click on that first currency, I'm going to find Ether right there. Second currency, it auto went to Bitcoin, so we're good to go. I'm gonna hit continue. Now I'm going to paste in my receiving address. That's where I'm gonna receive my Bitcoin. I'm also going to paste in my refund address should anything go wrong here. 
and I'm just going to hit start transaction like last time. All right, you're going to see the exact same type of screen. I'm going to pull out my Jax wallet this time. I'm going to scan the QR code on the screen. Once I've scanned it, I'm going to choose how much I want to send. So I'll just send it all back here. And once that's sent, it shouldn't take too long to pop up on the screen. All right, there we go. It says deposit received. And now it's saying awaiting exchange. I should take this moment to say that uh, what's happening here is that shapeshift.io is matching me up with another person that would like to sell their currency. So in this case, I'm wanting to buy Bitcoin from somebody else with Ethereum. So I'm matched up to somebody or they're trying to find a match of somebody who would like Ethereum in exchange for their Bitcoin. Basically, Shapeshift is a matching service. All right, there we go. It says exchange complete, all done. So I'll just pull out my wallet here. I'm going to go back into Copay. And I can see, there we go. I've received my Bitcoin in exchange for my Ether. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this information useful. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you're able, please leave a Bitcoin donation. But if not, feel free to share this video with whoever you think may find it useful. I will see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.